I need to tell you this, Rick. I need to tell somebody. I'm bursting to tell somebody. My husband's just the way out. Good morning, Georgie. Georgie. Good morning. It's the 2nd of November. And we have Georgie here to cheer us up today. And forget about the bracelet. <laughs> what have you got? A bike. A teapot. Aggie. Teapot. What is it, Georgie? Aggie. Teapot. Aggie. Oh no. Oh dear. We are babysitting today. Look, I've got this beautiful girl with me today. So we haven't really planned anything, but what I have done already, I've hoovered the whole house. I've cleaned all the bathrooms, basically. Just got the house back in order and trying to pick myself up from yesterday and just go, do you know what? It's a bracelet, it can be replaced and that's the way I have to look at it. I spent, <laughs> even when I, even when I got up this morning, I was still looking for it. So anyway, we phoned the insurance, so it's in their hands now and we'll see what happens with that. So that's all that can be done and just thank our lucky stars. That's the only thing. What? That's, you know, when you think of what else can go wrong and anyway, it's just thank our lucky stars and that's it. So. I'm now going to have a coffee. Look, I've even made an effort to make myself up because yesterday when I was editing, I just looked at myself and I thought, for goodness sake, girl, get a grip. You are not making an effort. And that's it. Because I'm at the gym and I come home, then I get stuck into the housework. I kind of don't see the point of putting makeup on and getting changed. So I just get stuck into the housework and then shower at the end of the day. But I've kind of done it a wee bit the other way around. But I haven't been to the gym, so it was easier to kind of get myself organised. Oh, holding Georgie in one hand and the camera in the other is quite enough. Right, I'm going to have something to eat. I'm just going to have a Pop-Tart right into these Pop-Tarts, I know. Georgie's probably going to watch Teletubbies. And I'm going to have a coffee. Aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. And uh, Lily wants out. Oh, should we let Lily out, Georgie? Look, look at this. Give you the bowl, that's enough. I need to wash it. Come on. Georgie. Give you the bowl. Come on, let's go and wash it. That's a good girl. Oh, doing well. Come on, let's go wash it. Oh, let's go wash your face. Come on, I don't want that all over the chairs. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, let's go wash your face. You've got cake all over your face. Now it's all over the cushions. Right. I'm going to go and wash it up before she gets it everywhere. So, I'm just back from a walk. And just before I went for a walk, and I was putting Georgie in the pram. Look what I did. I'm so excited. So, it was... In. Is Georgie fast asleep? So it was in this part of the pram here, which I had checked. Okay, Lily, which I had checked. I mean, I had checked time and time again, but just before I put her in, something said to me, check again. I don't know what it was, and I'm telling you, I have checked. And I stuck my hand right in, and I found the back charm, and I went, that's weird. It's weird how that hasn't fallen out at the bottom as I've walked her. And then I've just put my hand in again, searched about, and I kid you not, I could feel something and I'm like, no, no. It was there. Can't believe it. So now I need to phone the police and let them know that I have found it. Have to let the insurance know that I have found it. But I found it. <laughs> Oh well, that's it done. Done. By the way. So I'm now going to with me our cake. That's our cake already made there. And I'm going to finish that off. Ooh. So I'm going to finish that off while Georgie's sleeping. Do a quick tidy up. And then I think I'm gonna go for a blow dry is what I'm gonna do. Because I'm gonna pick myself right back up because I just 
I know, it's silly, but it just, anyway, it's finished. Let's leave it alone. Coffee, like, dream big. Yeah, dream big. Oh, needs a stir. Ooh. Right. Let's get on. So I've been, I've got myself a blow dry. My granddaughter is away home with her daddy and I haven't cooked. So my husband and I, as I'm in a good mood, because I found my bracelet, decided just to go out and get something to eat rather than cook. So I'm gonna get changed at the moment. I have on this jumper which I have won the hell out of. This is um, one that I picked up from TK Maxx a few years ago. Zara trousers and I had my Zara boots on which I've taken off now. And I had my pochette metis with me as well today. I'm now going to change out my bag and I'm going to take my one of my Chanel bags and I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a pair of leather trousers on or will I keep these on? Mm, I think I'm just going to put my leather trousers on and Christian Louboutin boots and one of my blouses is what I'm going to wear because that's my uniform. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what blouse we're going to wear. Just casual, we want to be a wee bit casual, casual. Uh, don't want to wear my jumper again because I'm always wearing that. But it's just a quick something to eat, so I don't want to really dress up. I, I want to just wear my Balmain t-shirt. I might just wear my Balmain t-shirt actually. And that's what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear my Balmain t-shirt with a pair of leather trousers. Here's my outfit. But I'm going to try a different position for my outfit because I never feel this comes out very well. So let's go. Just get my jacket and my bag. See this doing this outfit thing. It's not as easy as it looks. So we will go into my bathroom. Okay. We're in my bathroom and I put a mat down for stepping into it to move that pot out of the way. Things we do. Right, there we go. Let's try this. Is this working any better? It's making me look really slim anyway. Right, so here we are in my bathroom, in the bath, and I didn't get changed, basically. So I still have my jumper on, oh my battery's flashing, same Zara trousers, Hermes, jewellery, I have Swarovski bangles, I have a Rolex, I have, it's not even focusing, my Links of London, and my Hermes bangle. I don't know if any of that's focusing, but yeah, and I'm going to wear, I need to go closer, my Chanel bag and my Zara jacket, which is kind of lying there in my bathroom. So let me know if this angle is better standing in a bath in my bathroom. Oh, I don't know how everybody does this outfit of the day thing. But anyway, let's step out. Ugh. So that's us. Off for something to eat. We're just waiting for the taxi. What are you saying? It's okay, I'm just talking to the camera. That's what it looks like there. So tell me which one you prefer. 
So it's, oh, did I say it was Christian Louboutin? So yeah, just my Christian Louboutin boots. And that's the only thing I changed because I couldn't be bothered. Right, let's go. Here I am in my bathroom again. So I have on my jumper from Zara, which I hold in my autumn haul or Zara haul, one or the other. Just a pair of old leggings. I think these were River Island and my boots from Zara. Let's go back a bit. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I'm trying not to step in my bath. There we go. And that's there because my tap drips since we had the boiler changed. I don't know that drips so I don't like it dripping into the bath. So I just put that container there just in case you're wondering. So this is what I have on. And I'm just gonna carry my jumbo and my jacket from Zara. Now I'm going to go shopping for my husband. Needs a couple of things, just kind of everyday things. And I need a new phone. So I'm going to go and get myself a new iPhone. It's what I'm going to get. That's my jewellery, just the usual. Here we go and earrings as the usual right there and the ear is okay my camera is ready to collapse just my Zara aviator or biker whatever you like to call it my jumbo oh. this is what I have on my lips Just that Guerlain one there. That's what I have on my nails, which is an Estee Lauder, very old. The, the colour is blue blood. Let's go shopping. Oh, we are back. And um, we did pretty well shopping, but I'm going to upload a separate haul, is what I'm going to do. But here's a wee quick. There's cushions and throws and kitchen stuff, and I'm nibbling away at um, Pringles. Well, they're not actually Pringles, they're Aldi's version of Pringles stacks because I'm starving. And cups and oh, all sorts going on here. And there's an oh my husband's taking his bag away with all his clothes. I didn't. Mm -hmm. He's taking all his away. We even got some food shopping, so we're having pork chops today. Got some tomatoes. Got chalk for my granddaughter. Gin, of course. And tonics. And oh right, let's do this properly. I'll just do the food shopping. That's not food shopping. No, let's do this. We have tomatoes. We have lamb chops. We have more lamb chops. We have carrots. We have roast for tomorrow, Sunday roast. We have parsnips to keep the veg separate from the meat. We have some lettuce, some little gems, just there, tonics, fever tree, tonic water, the gin, good old Gordon's, lime for the gin, there we go, and potatoes so that's today's and tomorrow's dinner oh and more carrots there we go there we go good morning and welcome to sunday the 4th of november i am just getting myself organized but i need to tell you this rick i need to tell somebody i'm busting to tell somebody my husband's just the way out so my boys have planned a surprise trip for him look at my hair i'm just getting just in the process of gonna get ready and they've left it to me 
to pack a case for him because they're going to take him round some vineyards and things like that. So three boys are all getting together. They're going to fly him down south where my eldest son lives and then they're going to visit some vineyards down south I think they're not really telling me that much but I think I have just been told I basically got a text from my eldest son asking me for my their dad's details on his passport they then the text then proceeded to say don't get excited you're not going just get a case ready for dad and make sure he's not doing anything on Friday and for that weekend so they're not asking very much of me so my husband isn't one for he doesn't like to have a lot of clothes he likes to have things that he wears gets rid of them when they're done and then gets so me taking things out of his wardrobe it's going to be really hard for him not to notice so what I've done is yesterday we obviously went shopping. I kind of started moaning up him. Come on, Rico, you need some new things. Blah, 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 blah. So I've got all his new things sitting here, right? On the pretense that I'm going to do a haul video. Actually, I am going to do a haul video. But then my problem is, what do I do once I've done the haul video? He's going to want everything um, I've just noticed that rug on that jumper has left a bit of that faux fur on it. I need to sort that out before he sees it because he's a bit particular. Um, so, right, so my dilemma is once I've done the whole video, how then do I still hold on to his clothes and not... Anyway, what I'm thinking is I'm going to say to him that I'm going to do a packing video, how to pack for a man going away on a weekend that's the plan that's what I'm planning to do so I'm going to sit everything out on the bed in the spare room as if I was packing for somebody going away at the weekend so that's what I'm going to do that's how I think I'm going to be able to pack his case but then I have to give it to my middle son then I have to give it to George so he can kind of keep it until they go away I wish they would just tell me, it's making life really hard for me. So, this is what's going on in my life just now. But first, I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to put a washing out because it's really lovely weather. And kind of work out what I'm going to do. But that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend. Pretend? Let's pretend. Pretend? <laughs> like a wee girl. Let's pretend. Um, so, I'm going to kind of say I need to pack for a man going away at the weekend. That's gonna be my new video. Don't expect that video, cause it's not gonna happen. But I'll probably show you me packing his stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some sort of filming. Anyway, this vlog probably will be up once he's away, hopefully. He doesn't really look at things on my camera. So yeah, ah, hey, let me go and get ready. Okay, I sat down there to film a whole video and I thought, no, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to show you what I bought from B&M, um, Asda, Boots, TK Maxx and all of that. But I'll show you how I'm going to be using them. That's how I'm going to do it. Here are all the items. Look, I'd actually filmed it and I've deleted it because I wasn't happy with it. So this is everything. Look, I even had the glass of wine sitting there. So. This is how we are going to do it now. I'm just going to show you the items individually. So I, first of all, I went to um, B&M and picked up basically all of this. So the first thing I went in for were these bottles here. And what I like to use these for is, I'll show you. So I've already got one of these in my downstairs kitchen so what I like to do so what I like to do with these bottles which cost me a pound and you get them for the hair section in B&M is I like to use them for my Zoflora so I just fill them up I don't dilute it I know a lot of people like to dilute the Zoflora I don't so I just put that in there Close that and then close that. 
and then it just makes using this a lot easier i think i'm needing a new sponge but even these have sold out i don't know um, but um, yeah i went in from home bargains i think it's called so anyway i like to just kind of spray a bit of that and then add some nice scent and then just go over it and it kind of disinfects my sink as well so that's what i bought the bottles for so that's that so we'll put that underneath there and that underneath there and this one can go in the ensuite i also got some toilet duck for a pound and that just um that dissolves lime scale it's a five in one basically i put it down the toilet like so and it adds a nice smell as well so i got two of them because i've already got one downstairs i like each bathroom to have its own products i don't have a cupboard where i just keep all the um products in so that's inside my cupboard that's all my cleaning devices that's some um just vinyl gloves um my zoflora zoflora and the spray bottle my bleach my flash bathroom cleaner my toilet duck my air freshener and my shower shine so there you go and then this one's for my ensuite and that's all my cleaning products up there for my ensuite so I also picked up from Asda some chunky chalks for Georgie's chalkboard because these ones were just breaking because they were far too thin so I just picked her up a box of thick chalks for her to play with so that's another thing they were about 149 picked up a bag of meerkats so these are the jelly sweeties that I like so these were from B&M for 99 pence addicted addicted addictive even right i also got i shouldn't have put that sweet in my mouth this root perfect which covers up grease what does it say instant root concealer spray so it conceals regrowth and covers grease this was about 199 i picked up this l'oreal l net so this is a volume and stronghold so i like this thing this was about 399 but i think it was reduced to 399 so i like that because it does give you some root lift and it's a mousse and um, so that was from boots i got that when my husband whilst i was in bnm my husband was in tk max picking up a few things for himself and he saw this mug so he got this for me so it says i'd rather be drinking prosecco so it's a mug with some gummy sweets inside yummy so whilst he was in tk max he picked himself up some pants here we go these were 16.99 and some socks they were 6.99 i don't know if i said but this was 2.49 it's in the sink now to get washed i'm just going to empty all the sweets into the jar there we go Let's just put in ones as well here we go oh and i ordered a new phone as well so that should be here tomorrow so i've ordered the iphone xr 64 gigabyte so that's another thing i've ordered as well just put these away now mm -hmm. 
in the sweetie cupboard, which all needs to get reorganised. We've also got this marble kitchen paper holder. This was $9.99. TK Maxx. Here we go. Nice kitchen holder. Don't know where we're going to put it, but it can sit there just now. And I got these wax melts as well. These are vanilla and they are Airwick. And I use these and I use these in my mum's room. And this here. And it smells beautiful. So that's what I use these for. Let me just keep them there actually. Yeah. Okay, now for the throw and it's all unraveled because like I said I had already filmed and um yeah so the throw was $19.99 from BM and I'll show you on and the cushions were $7.99 from BM so the stripey on the one side and kind of this flowery leafy effect I was gonna say paisley but it's not paisley it's kind of a leafy effect and I was just needing new cushions because the ones I had were done the cream ones that I had were basically done and yeah let's put them on the bed There we go. There's the bed now. So the new two, the two new pillows and the throw. So the reason for the throw is because the beds, because the beds, because the dogs like to lie on my bed. It's something they've always done, so I can't stop them doing it now. And Lily, the youngest one, has really bad eyes. So when she lies on my bed, she stains my quilt cover. And to keep on top of it, I would have to wash it every day. So I thought it would be a lot easier if I got something like this and she would lie on this rather than on my um, quilt cover and stain it and I could just throw this in the washing machine um, quickly as opposed to stripping the bed. So yeah, I'm quite liking it actually, it's very nice, pretty quite pleased with that. Just straighten this a bit, yeah. So yeah, $19.99 from B&M and the pillows were $7.99 each from B&M. Not the purple ones, the cream ones. So, looking lovely. Pleased with that. Yeah, and I've lost a screw again on my um, viewfinder. I don't know how I keep managing to do that so it keeps wobbling about. So, in here we have what my husband bought himself yesterday. So he got himself a jacket from Nex, which has a concealed hood. And this was £85. That's that. A pair of um, denims. Were these skinny or straight leg? Let's see which. These are skinny. These were £35. That's what they look like. So they are in the dark blue. So I think that's called indigo and a pair of black ones and these were slim and they were 25 pounds that was a great price for next jeans by the way and he got himself this top here which was 30 pounds and these were all from next and this top here as well from next which was 30 pounds now to do a packing video sort of